all give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endureth forever. Praise the Lord, everybody. Everybody ought to praise the Lord. We bring you greetings from the Bethel Outreach Church of our Lord Jesus Christ in Lutz, Florida, where our pastor is, District Elder Dwayne and Mickens. And the Spirit of the Lord abides. We thank and praise God for you counting and not robbery to join us by the way of Facebook Live in the mighty name of Jesus. Feel free to praise him and to worship him in the beauty of holiness. We are located at 16134 Hannah Road, Lutz, Florida, and you are welcome to join us in our sanctuary on Sunday morning at 11.30 a.m. We thank and we praise God for the saints of God that are here on this morning. We thank and praise God for our pastor, and we thank and praise God for you. We have a job to do on this morning and we have been created for praise hallelujah i counted robbery to come into his house and not give the honor that is due unto a king he has been better than good he has done so many great things the fact that i am even standing here is a testament to the goodness of god so i will praise him with my whole heart hallelujah Hallelujah, because that's what I have been created to do in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask that you join us on this morning as we give God the praise that it is due unto him in Jesus' name. Our scripture lesson on this morning comes from Psalms 1, comes from Psalms 95. I'm going to read the first through the eighth verse. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. So the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it. And his hands form the dry land. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down before us. Bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. Thus I read Psalm 1 through 8, Psalms 95, 1 through 8, the word of the Lord is already blessed. Come excited on this morning, come expected on this morning. We came because we desire to give God praise and we need something for him on this morning. Do not leave the same way you came. The spirit of the Lord is here and ready to minister to your needs. As our deacon come and usher us into the presence of the Lord. Praise to the Lord, our Savior, creator of all things. Let every heart pray. Lord Jesus, in that marvelous name, that name that is above every name, the name where every knee shall bow and every tongue confess, Lord. We give you praise for it and the knowledge of it also, Lord Jesus. We thank you for this opportunity to come before you right now with thanksgiving in our heart our minds and our souls, render unto you, Lord Jesus, that thing that is worthy unto you, you alone, Lord Jesus, to make it possible for us to be here. Thank you for life, health, and strength in our bodies, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for being and being obedient to your word, faking not and assembling ourselves together in thy name. Hallelujah. May we come together, Lord, to give you praise and glory and honor. We thank you right now them that press their way out, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as we, 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 as we go forth this, this morning, Lord Jesus, we ask you right now, Lord Jesus, to keep us in our right mind. Keep us now, Lord. I need you to keep me, Lord. I need you, Lord Jesus, right now. 
we all need you right now, Lord Jesus. And we realize sometimes we don't need things, but we need you right now, Lord, to elevate us, Lord. Keep us, Lord, under your blood, Lord. Watch this continuously each day. Give us that praise and upon our lips so we can thank you each and every morning and time we wake up. Thank you, sister. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And them that are watching on the airways and our byways, Lord, say, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for the us. Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for being here. I thank you, Jesus, for the blood running on me in my veins. Thank you, Jesus, for keeping my right mind. In the name of Lord Jesus, things we take for granted, Lord, we give you praise for. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we ask right now. And Lord, as we, as we go forth to the service, Lord, to sing songs of praise unto your name. I hope, we hope, Lord Jesus, coming from our hearts. So we, if it's coming from our heart, Lord, we mean what we are saying, what we're doing. We know why we're doing it, Lord Jesus. We're doing it for your glory and for your honor. Give us the tools and things, Lord Jesus, we need to represent your kingdom and your glory, Lord. We be careful, give you praise. And man of God, as we come forth, Lord, break the bread of life, Lord. Bless us, Lord Jesus. Let that word come forth and edify our souls so, Lord Jesus, that we be able to stand in these last days, Lord. Hallelujah. Compromise with no one, no man, and no idol, Lord Jesus. We give you praise always and forever, and, and, and give you all the glory and honor. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we ask right now. Everybody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, give him some praise, somebody. Give him some praise, somebody. No need to try to pump nobody up. You're not here to pump nobody up. But if it's in your heart, you give God praise. If it's in your soul, spirit, you give God praise anyhow. In Jesus' name, may we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise him, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. opportunity to be in his house and to be able to sing his praises and to be among his people. And yesterday while we were rehearsing, um, we were just talking about the importance of testimony, the importance of hearing what God is doing in the lives of those who are around us, that there is encouragement in the house of God. Amen. God is not a God of just David. God is a God of Ashley and First Lady and Deacon and every member of the praise team. He is still a living God who is worthy and deserving of praise. I want to read a quick scripture to you all before we begin praise and worship on this morning because the word of God is our final authority. And this is what we utilize when we come into his house to ensure that we are coming before him with the right mindset and that our hearts are properly aligned with his will. Amen. So in Matthew, St. Matthew, very first book in the New Testament, it says in the 18th um, chapter in the 18th verse it says verily I say unto you whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven again I say unto you that if two of you two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask it shall be done for them of my Father, which is in heaven. This is Jesus speaking, amen? For where two or three are gathered together 
in my name. There I am in the midst of them. I want to remind you that God is in the midst. Amen. It isn't a it isn't a feeling, it is a knowing. Amen. God's word tells us so that when two or three are gathered in the name of Jesus, that he is in the midst. So I want you to grab your neighbor's hand and I want you to tell them we're gonna have a great time in Jesus' name. Souls are going to be saved in Jesus' name. Someone's going to run to the altar and ask, what must I do to be saved in Jesus' name? Our loved ones will be healed in Jesus' name. My body will be healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on, you have to speak over yourself. In the name of Jesus, we bind the hands of the enemy. Hallelujah. We bind the hands of sickness. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The enemy wants you to think that there is no authority in the house and the devil is a liar because Jesus is in the midst and his name is the final authority. Hallelujah. And so whatever you are feeling like, you're going to tell that feeling to sit down, to pipe down. Hallelujah. Because we've come to glorify the name of Jesus and he is a great God and he's worthy of all of the praise. Hallelujah. So you guys know the songs. We won't be before you long, but I just want you to just remember that God is right here and he's inhabiting the praise of his people. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. The words are simple. It's going to say the greatness of the Lord. Amen. The greatness of the Lord is inconceivable. The love that he shows is unconditional. The power of the Lord is unbeatable great is the god we serve we're gonna say it again the greatness of the lord is inconceivable the love that he shows is unconditional the power of the lord is unbeatable The greatness of the Lord. Come on, y'all know the words, my children. Go ahead and stand up and give God some praise. The power of the Lord is unbeatable. Great, great is the God we serve. God is, God is great. And is greatly to be praised. And greatly to be praised. Come on, send up a hallelujah praise. God is great. And greatly to be praised. God is, God is great. We've come to glorify your name, oh God. To be praised. And God is, God is great. Oh, oh. Jesus and greatly to be praised for he is king of kings the Lord of Lords and greatly to be praised and greatly to be praised God is great and we shout hallelujah thank you Jesus greatly to be praised we leave it on the altar God is great Oh, 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 and greatly to be praised. God is great. We give you glory, Jesus, and 
If you need him, lift up your hands. Hallelujah, hallelujah, God. We need you, God. Hallelujah. We invite your presence in, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, God. There is none like you, oh God, on heaven or on earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
and hallelujah. And Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. We place the one above you. Lord, we love you. Oh, Lord, we love you. And Lord, the hallelujah 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 said the captives free God hallelujah remove the bondage hallelujah Come and say it to the King of Kings, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. We thank you for access to your God, Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Come on, he's here, his presence is here. Hallelujah, his spirit is here, hallelujah. There's healing here, there's deliverance here, hallelujah, hallelujah. There's salvation here, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. It's okay to sit in your praise, hallelujah, for a little bit, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Not to rush just for a second and just tell Lord you're welcome here, hallelujah. We glorify your name, we praise your name, Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah.
Come on, let's praise him, everybody in the house. He's worthy of the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I praise your name. How wonderful, how excellent is thy name, O oh God. Thank you, praise team, for leading us in worship on this morning. First Lady, we thank you for leading us in our Bible reading and scripture reading. The opening of our service, it is just a privilege again to just be in the midst of the saints of God, the people of God, praising him, honoring him for all that he has done. I don't know about you, but I just want to thank him for his mighty acts. I want to thank him for his excellent greatness. I want to thank him for his love and his mercy, uh, his grace that I don't deserve, but yet he's been so kind and have provided it for us through all that he has done. And today we just bring greetings, you greetings from the Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, Bethel Outreach here in the city of Lutz. Founded 16134 Hannah Road. We want you to know that you're always welcome here. Where you can come and be blessed by the word of God. Where you can be strengthened. Where you can be encouraged. Where you can be inspired. Amen. To rise up from this place wherever you are in your life. And you can move forward in a place of praise and honoring God. Getting to know him. Building a relationship with the true and living God. Is there anybody in here that have a relationship with the true and living God? Anybody know Jesus as your Savior, as your Lord, and as your King? Oh, hallelujah. I just want somebody to know that he is Lord. Amen. We know that he is Lord. And I'm so glad to be in the house. On today, I would like, if you will, join with me in the reading of the Word of God. We're going to turn to the book of Romans. We're going to go back to the first chapter again. We're going to start at the 16th verse on today. Again, that will be in the book of Romans in the, 16th, in the first chapter, starting at the 16th verse. Chapter that I believe the world is trying to stamp out or remove. The word of God is always right. It don't need to be changed. It don't need to be rewritten. Just need to be read and obeyed as we submit ourselves to the reading of the hearing of the word of God. It says, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith as it is written, the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. And change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and to four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts 
who dishonored their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. I want to stop right there. Lord God, today we thank you. We thank you for the opportunity to come together as a family in Christ. Lord, we thank you because you have placed us into the body so that we can, Lord God, learn how to work in accordance to your divine will and function as you have ordained your church to function in order Lord God, that the world may see that you are a God that does not fail, a God that does not lie, a God that never goes back on your promises. Today we ask you, O oh God, to just fill this place, fill it with your presence, fill it with your power. O oh God, set every demon to a flight, we pray. O oh God, as we surrender our minds, our hearts, Lord God, our souls unto thee and thee alone. Use us as vessels of honor, we pray. Oh, God, help us that we will step out of the way so that your spirit can minister a word to your children. Oh, God, that they will be uplifted, that they will be encouraged. Oh, God, that they will be inspired to go forth and to live a life that is pleasing and acceptable in your sight. That they will allow you to work in them and through them so that they could be the light of the world, that city that is set on the hill that cannot be hid, that men will see our good works and begin to glorify our Father in heaven. Oh, God, work in our midst. Oh, Jesus, let signs and wonders follow us, we pray, as we give you the glory for your great name and for, the Lord God, the works that you have performed already in our lives. For while we was lost in sin, you came and delivered us out of the darkness and placed us into your marvelous light. And we want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for being so good. Thank you for being so loving. Thank you for being our savior and deliverer. When there was no hope, you gave us hope. When there was no life, you gave us life. Let your anointing, a fresh anointing, fall on this house. And we'll give you the praise in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. When I look in this chapter and in these verses, I think about. 24th verse where it says, Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who change the truth of God into a lie. If I was to give you a thought today, my thought would be hold fast to the truth. Hallelujah. Hold fast to the truth. I know the world is telling us that there is no absolute truth. I know the world is always trying to tell us that these words were written by men alone. And that because these words were written by men, then there are fallacies, there are, there are errors in Scripture. And when we look into the Scripture and the Word of God, and not only study them, but we ask God to allow His Word to take root in our hearts and in our minds so that we can live in accordance to His divine will. The more we surrender ourselves and live by God's word, God allows us to see his holiness and godliness, his love and his mercy and his grace toward those that are called by 
his name. We look around and we can see that even from creation, God existed. There would be nothing made without him. There would be nothing formed without him. Certainly it was God that reached in the middle of chaos, in the middle of darkness, and spoke, and light came in the middle of darkness. It was God that reached in the middle of nothing and began to form the very dust of the earth and placed every world in orbit, every celestial body. And then God began to form those things that were in the earth. He made man in his likeness. And he breathed the very breath of life into man. And man became a living soul. Without God, there would be no life. Without God, there would be no breath. There would be no heartbeat. There would be no flowing of blood. Without blood, there could be no life through the members of the body. The blood takes all of the oxygen and the the things that are needed so that the members could live, carries them where they need to go. So here we understand that, that God loved us so much that even though man turned their backs, humanity turned their backs on God, Even though God revealed his power through the sun rising every morning and setting every evening. Even though God showed his power through the moon as it hung in the sky in the nighttime. The stars twinkling in their place. Even though God showed his power, amen, by Amen. The rivers flowing, praise our God, the seas and the seas and the oceans moving in accordance to his divine will. Man refused to believe that God exists. God said, they're confounded by the things that I've created. Matter of fact, they are a witness to who I am. So they can try to denounce me. They can try to deny me. But they have no power over me. So God says, what I would do is because I don't want humanity to be lost in their ignorance, in their sins, I'm going to send my son. I'm going to come myself incarnated in flesh. I'm going to walk among them. I'm going to talk to them. I'm going to share with them what God desires of humanity. And then I'm going to let them know that I'm not going to leave them without guidance, without comfort. I'm not going to leave them without a counselor. I'm not going to leave them uh, by themselves to fight against a power that is greater than them because I made humanity lower than the angels. And so the demonic forces that have fallen from glory, the fallen angels, uh, they would not be able, amen, to overcome without me bringing them the power that they need. So he said, I'm coming to the earth and I'm going to teach them and leave instructions for them. And then once I leave my instructions for them, praise the name of our God, I'm going to ascend back into glory. And when I ascend into heaven, I'm going to leave the spirit of God in the earth. That everyone that believe on my word and in my name can be saved. 
I'm going to leave a way for them to come out of sin. I'm going to leave a way, amen, for the yokes to be destroyed that the enemy has placed on their life. I'm going to leave a way for the prisons of darkness to be opened so that they could come out of the darkness into the light of God and they could live a life that was liberated from the enemy, which is Lucifer and the satanic forces of darkness. Somebody tell him hallelujah. And so the Bible says, I want you to know that, uh, that this word is written even though the Apostle Paul uh, sat down and penned it for us. Paul said, I want you to understand something that this gospel was not designed of men. Uh, this gospel did not come out of the mind of an individual that is of humanity. But this particular gospel came out of glory. And not only is this gospel the power that came out of glory, but it is the power of salvation to everyone that believe. In other words, if you can believe that God is a savior, if you can believe that God is a deliverer, if you can believe that God shed his blood on Calvary's rugged cross, that you may be saved from your sins, uh, that you can be delivered from the transgressions uh, against the law of God. If you can believe that he shed his blood, that while you were yet in your sins that he died for the ungodly. Ah God, you can be delivered from the shackles of Lucifer. You don't have to walk in those lies. You don't have to walk in that despair. You don't have to stay in that state of depression. Ah God, you don't have to allow the enemy to abuse you and to continue to misuse you. Praise our God and overtake you in the way. If you can believe that God is a rewarder to them that diligently seek after him. Uh, God, you can take off this cloak of unrighteousness and put on the garment of praise. And then you can take off the filthy garments of life life and put on the clean garments of God. Somebody tell him hallelujah. I want you to know that this power of the, the death and burial and resurrection of our Christ was not only for his time but it was for every generation that was to come after the resurrection of Jesus Christ. For when Jesus got up out of the grave he Look back and said, oh grave, amen, oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is your victory? I want you to know that I got all power in my hand. Ah, my children that suffered in the past, I've come to break the bands of Lucifer. I know he had a grip on your life, but I come to break the grip of Lucifer in your life. You couldn't stop drinking but I come to break amen that drunkenness in your life amen you couldn't stop amen smoking but I came amen to break amen that smoking demon in your life amen that thing that is defiling you and corrupting you I came amen to lift you up out of the dungeons of darkness you couldn't stop cursing because your lips or control a man by forces of darkness. But when I came, I put a new song in your mouth. I put some new dancing in your feet. I put some praise in your heart. I want you to know that your heart, a man, was deceitful. I want you to know that your heart was full of wickedness.
wickedness. But when I came, I left the Holy Ghost. And when the Holy Ghost came upon you, it gave you power over that force of darkness. And that heart that was deceitful, and then that heart that was wicked, was now cleansed and washed in the blood of the Lamb. Amen. That same blood that Jesus shed on Calvary's rugged cross. And the songwriter picked it up and said there is a fountain filled with blood. It was drawn from Emmanuel's veins and sinners plunge beneath the flood and lose all their guilty stains. I don't know about you, but I'm glad that he washed me in his blood. I was filthy and unrighteous. I was ungodly and unholy. I messed up and was anchored under the weight of sin. But when Jesus showed up in my life, I said he lifted me out of the muck and the mire. I wish I had somebody that had a testimony that he brought you out. Somebody sang, he brought me out of the miry clay. He put my feet on a rock to stay. He put a song in my soul a day. A song of his praises hallelujah anybody got a song of his praise in your heart tell him hallelujah But the ungodly are not so. The unrighteous are not so. They fight against the law of God. They fight against the principles of God. Amen. They fight against the holy standard of God. And it has become so bad until it is trying to make its way in the church. But the Lord said, on this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it and though the wickedness of man has pushed them amen to fight against the Lord and though they may be anti-Christ I want you to know in the house of the Lord amen we are for the name of Jesus we are for a man living a holy life. Amen. We are for a man giving God the praise. We are for a man being filled with the Holy Ghost. Somebody need to say yes. If you believe it, give God praise. There is a spirit in the earth that is against God and that fights against God but I want you to know that even though they are fighting against God amen God has revealed unto us his righteousness and not only has he revealed it unto us but he has been so merciful and kind until he has brought us into right standing with God God. He has built a bridge between the, the earth and God himself. And when we were cut off from God, we can now come boldly before the throne of grace. I don't know about you, but we by faith can enter into the presence of the Lord. I know that my sins were higher than a mountain. Amen. But the Lord sanctified me. My sins were flowing like a river. But the Lord sanctified me. Anybody gonna say glory hallelujah when the fire came. When the Holy Ghost came. It cleansed me from the crown of my head unto the sole of my feet. He cleansed me and made me whole. And now the just, amen, those that have been declared holy by God, amen, those that have been declared not 
guilty by God. Amen. Those that are sons and daughters of God. Amen. Live by faith. I've got an assurance that Jesus is mine. I've got an assurance that even when I'm weak, He's strong. And I can say that I'm strong because Jesus is operating in my life. Somebody need to give him a praise from your lips. There is a force that is fighting against God. But I want you to know this, that the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all unrighteousness and unholiness of men. Hallelujah. Ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. In other words, they are building their own doctrine. They are building their own religion but you better hold on to the truth you better hold on to the word you better hold on to Jesus Christ because the wrath of God is revealed against unrighteous and ungodly men hold on to Jesus amen because Jesus said the things that were known hallelujah unto them made manifest unto them by God amen God showed it to them let them see that you can't control amen the things of God amen you can't duplicate the things of God you may try but you can't do it and so amen the world amen began amen to say we'll make our own God we won't worship the God of heaven but we're going to make gods that look like us they're going to make gods that look like four footed beasts, we'll make gods that look like the birds of the air but let me tell you this they wouldn't glorify him and they wouldn't be thankful for what he has done but I wonder if there's anybody in the house that will bless the Lord at all times and say to yourself your praises oh God will be in my mouth all the time I want to bless you when I go out I want to bless you when I come in I want to bless you when I lay down I want to bless you and when I get up in the morning the first thing that come out of my mouth I want to say I thank you Jesus because you've been good you brought me into another day you gave me another chance I want to live for you I want to walk with you I want you to show up in my life use me Lord as a vessel of honor somebody need to give him the glory men became vain in their imaginations and their hearts that were foolish were darkened it was darkened and they began to profess themselves as being wise be careful about trying to be wise as men in the earth and learn how amen to wait on the Lord until you get an answer from God and when you get the answer from God. Amen. They may fight against you but when God is for you, he is more than the whole world against you. And so God says, I gave them over unto uncleanliness. I let them dishonor their own bodies among themselves. Ah, God. And then they tried to change the truth of God into a lie. We are living in an era when they are trying to change amen, the truth of God into a lie but you need to know what the word of God says and not only know it but live by it every day somebody tell them hallelujah the enemy is after the saints of God 
And he's more so after your children. Because he feels like the older saints are still rooted in the word. But if I can grab a hold of that young nation, those young minds, I can change the course of the world. But I'm telling you today that whatever you do, don't believe the hype. Don't believe the lie. But I encourage you today, whatever you do, you need to hold on to the truth. You need to look at somebody beside you and tell them whatever you do, hold on to the truth. In the name of Jesus. Come on, clap your hands in the house today and give God some praise. Whatever you do, young people, hold on to the truth. Don't change what God said you are. Live like God tells you to live. Walk like God tells you to walk. Converse in the manner of God's word that will bring people to a place where they are blessed in Christ. And don't allow the enemy to deceive you. Whatever man is sowing, that is what he's going to reap. So you need to sow to things that are incorruptible, that are spiritual, that are eternal, so that you can produce out of those things everlasting life through Jesus Christ. Come on, stand to your feet today. Whatever you do, hold on to the truth. Come on, stand to your feet today and give God some praise in the house. Oh, glory to God. There may be one that have been struggling with your faith. Struggling with where you stand in God. But I want you to know today you need to get your feet anchored in his word. Because the word of God will stand. It's going to last. If God says it, he will perform it. He will not return unto him void. So if you are not filled with the Holy Ghost, if you are not baptized in his name, now is the time. Whatever you do, don't allow this moment to pass you by. Hold on and grab a hold of truth. And walk it out daily so that God can bless your life. May God bless you. May heaven smile upon you is our prayer. In Jesus' name. As we begin to anoint these on the altar and pray for them that God will move in a mighty way in their life. That he will give them a sincerity to live for him, to walk with him, to talk with him.